Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to extract a broke off tap using TIG. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply heat with the TIG torch, just right in the center of that tap, getting it red hot. We're going to try, we're going to, try to accomplish annealing the tap, so that way it'll take the weld better and it'll extract without trying to crack back off. We'll do that, and then we'll start building up a little mound of metal. We'll use our filler rod, build up a little mound of metal, and then we'll add uh, maybe some square stock to it to give us a little handle where we can extract it out. Okay, you have to be very careful. You do not want the edge, the leading flutes, the cutting part of the tap, to weld into the cut threads of the of the steel here, or else the tap will get stuck. It's, it's a done for. If you have people that are breaking these taps off, tell them as soon as they break the tap, bring it to you. The more they try to work and try to get it out and do this and that, the harder it's gonna make your job. All right, let me find something to weld to this. And we'll pull it right out. And after you've welded on it, you could, you could actually add a little lube to it. It'll kind of help release it. I didn't find any square stock nearby, so I'm just gonna use this piece of stainless 308 welding rod. This is 532, it's pretty thick. I'll heat both of these up together so they're both hot and I'll blend them together. That way they'll be good and welded. I'm gonna add a little bit more metal to it to give it some rigidity. A little WD-40 here. They might have. He tried using a MIG gun before it got to me. There's a chance that he might have welded to the threads. I'll try to break it loose if it is. Okay, it would appear that he caught part of it with weld. So I'm hoping it's just right there on top. So in that case, I'm just gonna put this, this nut on here and I'm gonna weld that up and see if that takes it off. Gives, gives it a little bit more, more pull. that cool a little bit more. We'll get a wrench on it, see if it'll pull them out. Okay, I'm gonna be putting a little tapping oil on it. Okay, shoot it a little more willy D. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit to cool off, and I wanna see if it'll come on out. Usually I can get these things out when they're hot, but if I let it cool off, it gives it a better chance of the metal separating at the two different cool down temperatures so it might allow it to just pull right on out. Ah yes, that did it. Whew. That's good. 